Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Hey my friends, welcome back. We have a new letter this week. Do you know what this letter is? Have you seen it before? Is it in your name? It's in my name. It's the first letter in Palmer. <laughs> Do you have a P in your name? Maybe you have a P in your last name. You have three names. You have a first name, a middle name, and a last name. Let's focus on your first name, okay? Let's just get that one down. Learn all the letters in it. Write all of them in the correct order. And you'll be ready for school. We definitely need to get you ready for school. You gotta be able to write your name, don't you? Let's look. So this is a P. Let's do the letter keyword sound. You ready? P pan. P. Your turn. P pan. P. P pan. P. Good job. P. 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 You hear it? You have to push the air out of your lips. This is an uppercase P and a lowercase P. And this is also a consonant, just like the T and the M and the S. It's one of our black ones. Our black letters are our consonants and our red ones are our vowels. Our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Well, we know one word that begins with a P. It's pan. Well, I can't wait to dive deep into that. Are you ready? Let's go over our objective first. Our objective is that we are learning letters and their sounds. You will know our letters of the week by saying them, finding them, and tracing the letters correctly as we develop our bimotor skills. Some friends like to trace in shaving cream. Some friends like to trace and gel in a Ziploc bag. And some friends, they like to trace highlighter. If your parent is around, they can write a bunch of uppercase and lowercase P's for you with a pink highlighter or a yellow highlighter or a blue or a green highlighter. And you can take your pencil and trace on top of it. That's a good way to do it. Let's go over our student rights because you have rights in this classroom. Student rights, you have the right to ask questions. You have the right to be treated with kindness. You have the right to share your ideas. And you have the right to have others listen to you and respect you. Rights mean that that's something you are given or you're allowed to do. And in this classroom, you have many things you're allowed to do. And these are your rights. Welcome to my class today. We have an exciting day today. We have a new letter and we're going to be focusing it all week long. I'm going to give you lots of little activities that you can do at home so you can practice all week long and you can watch this lesson as many times as you need. I like that these are recorded. That way you can watch them over and over again if you need to. P, pan, p. your turn. P, pan, p. say it again. P, pan, p. Now look at my peas. Do they, they look similar or do they look different? These look more similar on the foundations, right? The foundations font looks very, very similar. This looks a little different. This looks more round or like a circle. And this looks more like a U put onto the P. Let's build our word. Want to build it real quick? We can build it real quick. And then we can make up our list. Oh, but we need this spot for our pictures. You're right. I'll do that next. Let's go over what starts with the letter P. Can you look around your house? You look around your living room or your kitchen or your dining room or your bedroom or maybe when you're on your, your walk with your family. And we don't leave our house without an adult, right? What starts with the letter P? We have pan. 
We have Pig. We have Penny. Penny. It's a little copper penny. We have Puppy. Do you have a dog? Do you have a puppy? How about Pet? Do you have any kind of pet at home? That begins with a P. P, -p pet. Let's see. Pink. Oh, that's my favorite color. Is pink one of your favorite colors? That begins with a P. -p oh, purple too. Purple begins with a P. -p Maybe purple is your favorite color for the ravens. That's a good one. Pizza. Do you like to eat pizza? It's Josh's favorite food. He loves pizza. And pizza begins with a P. -p Pearl. When you open up, shells are clammed up tight. But there's a little piece of, of like sand in there. Over time, the clam will turn it into a pearl. Pearl starts with a P. P, -p and you can use that for jewelry. Pumpkin. Oh, I like pumpkins. In October, we can pick a pumpkin for Halloween. A lot of people do that. A lot of people use pumpkins to make pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Those are very tasty. There's lots of different ways to use pumpkin. Mm, we also can use pens. If you can write with a pen, it doesn't have an eraser, but pens are fun to write with. They're, they're fun. You get to click them and it has ink. Pen starts with a p, -p sound. There's a lot of different words that begin with a P. Can you find me two things around your room? Somewhere in your house? I'll wait. Go find two things. And it can be what I said if you want, or it can be something different. Oh, I like it when you find something different because then it adds to our list of words. You can go ahead and pause this video when you're ready. I'll be here waiting for you. Did you find two things in your house that began with a P? A P sound? Did you? Good job. Can you tell me what they are? I'm listening. Great job. Finding two things in your house. And throughout the whole week, can you find more? Can you find 10? Can you find 20? It's important for us to use what we're learning in these lessons at home. Utilize it in our environment. Try to find peas and books that you're reading with mommy and daddy. And grandma and grandpa or, mother, or brother and sister, you can, you can read books with them and try to find all the peas in that book. That's exciting to, to find them. It's kind of like you're a detective looking for that pea and listening for that p -p -p sound. Wonderful job, my friends. Make sure you continue it all week long. Now, now we can build our letters. We need two straight lines. Our uppercase P needs a U. Like this. You see it? And it goes right at the top. Like this. It's our uppercase P. Now our lowercase P goes deep down in the dirt. It's one of our worm words. Our dirt words. Our basement words. Because it goes down deep, below the basement, below the ground. It needs another U. The uppercase P is tall above the ground, and the lowercase P is deep down in the dirt. <laughs> With the worms. This is the dirt. You see this, this line right here? In between here? That's where the dirt is. That's where the basement is. We found our first basement letter. <laughs> Our first, our first dirt letter that <laughs> goes deep down. They look very similar, don't they? So that's going to be easy to write. Can you get your magic finger or your magic wand with me? And let's, let's draw it in here. Ready? Down. Big hump at the top. Down. Big hump at the top. Now in lowercase. Down into the dirt. A little hump at the top. Down into the dirt. A little hump at the top. Good job, my friends, practicing your peas. I brought a book with me today. Would you like to read it with me? It's Alpha, it's alpha Tales, your, little P, your letter P. P says what again? P, 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 P. The Pig's Picnic. That's a short title. It only has three words.
words in it. The pig's picnic. Let's go over our print concepts together. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the side or the spine. And this is the title. You're right. The big letters on the front are called the title. The author is Helen Moore. What does Helen Moore do? The author writes the words. You're right. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi, ho, the Dario. The author writes the words. Illustrated by Ellen Sasky. What does Ellen do? Ellen draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. Hi, ho, the Dario. The illustrator draws the pictures. I might get tongue twisted a little, right? Because it's a lot of P sounds. Penny, Polly, and Peter Pig were planning a picnic. What shall we pack in our picnic basket? Asked Penny. Penny, Polly, Peter, Pig, planning, picnic, pack, picnic. Penny, nine. That's a lot. Wow. Peter looked in the pantry. Let's pack some peaches, said Peter. A peachy idea, said Polly. Are they ripe? asked Penny. Perhaps we should taste them first, said Polly. And they did perfect, said Penny. Look, Penny is a good name for a little girl and also a name for a coin that we use, a copper coin. Mm, they must love peaches. Do you love peaches? Peaches begins with a p -p sound. Let's pack pickles, and Pete said Peter. Perhaps we should taste the pickles too, said Polly. And they did mmm, picklicious, said Peter. Do you like pickles? I know you might. Some people like pickles, some people don't. Miss Palmer does not like pickles. Peter made some peanut butter and potato chip sandwiches. Would you like to taste them? Peter asked Penny and Polly. Yes, please, said Penny and Polly, and they did crunch, crunch, crunch. It brings a whole new, new thought to crunchy peanut butter with potato chips. Perhaps we should pack some pasta salads, said Polly, and pears and plums, said Penny, and pumpkin pies, said Peter. Of course, Penny, Polly, and Peter tasted everything first. Perhaps pack, pasta, poly, pears, plums, six. Pumpkin, pie, Peter, Penny, Polly, Peter. Oh, six. There's lots of P words in there. Are you hearing them all? Are you training your ears? But before long, the pantry is empty, and so was the picnic basket. Penny, Polly, and Peter were puzzled. <gasps> That's peculiar, said Peter. I guess we'll have to put off our picnic, said Polly. We could order pizza instead, said Penny. Uh-oh, they ate too much. What are they going to have for their picnic? They're not going to have much for their picnic, are they? They ate too much. <gasps> and they, oh my goodness, do you see how many pizzas they bought? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen pizzas. Do you think they need all that food? I don't think they need all that food. And they did. Pizza! Pizza begins with a p, p sound. Wow, they must love pizza to buy so much. Is the end of the book. Are you ready? How many things can you find that begin with the letter P? It's my favorite part. Here it come. What do you see? I see a pig too. I see popcorn. Oh, that starts with P. Oh, I see puzzles too. Good catch. I see a picture frame. Ooh, picture begins with a p. I see a picnic basket. You can pause it if you want to find them all. Great job, my friends. You're doing a wonderful job. 
Let's do our P cheer. P cheer. P is for pig, pickles, and pot. P is for pizza, gooey and hot. P is for pancakes piled up high. P is for puppy, popcorn and pie. Hooray for P, big and small. The peachiest, peppiest letter of all. It's a silly book. It's got lots of food in it. I guess a lot of foods begin with a P. Have you noticed anything that you've ate today that began with a P? Maybe popcorn or peaches or plums? You can always try them at home. Ask your family to go to the grocery store to try a plum. They're very tasty, just like peaches are very tasty. Let's practice writing on our board with our lines. Our uppercase and lowercase P. Can you get a marker or a crayon or a pencil with me? Or can you use your magic finger and just write it in the air? I would love that too. Any type of practice works on your fine motor skills. Let's go with uppercase P first. Ready? We're going to go all the way down from the skyline, all the way down to the grass line, and stop. Now we need our little U, right? We need our little U. So we're going to take the U and go from the sun all the way to the airplane line. You see my uppercase P? Can you write an uppercase P like me? You can also do the lowercase P. We stop. We start at the airplane line and zoom it all the way down deep into the dirt and stop. Oh, I went really far, didn't I? Because it's a basement letter. And we have to go from the airplane line all the way to the grass line like this. And there's my lowercase p. My uppercase p is above the grass line. And my lowercase p is below the grass line in the dirt. Great job practicing your p's. There's so many different ways that we can practice our p's at home to develop those fine motor skills. You wanna see? Well, I hope you've been practicing at home. It's so important to practice. Hey, my friends, you've just learned a lot about letter P. So what can we use at home to practice? We gotta develop those fine motor skills. We have shaving cream, a Ziploc bag full of hair gel with a little bit of food coloring and glitter. We have pipe cleaners. We have wiki sticks. We have Play-Doh. We have so many things at our disposal to practice forming this letter. When we're making our uppercase P, we go down and around the top. Down and around. You can feel the movements when you're making it. That's what's important. It may not look like the best P, and it may turn out to be a little wonky, but that's okay too, because you're practicing. I also love Play-Doh. I love rolling the Play-Doh. I love forming the Play-Doh around. Here's my uppercase P, you see it? Now, the lowercase p has to go down in the basement. So I can take the Play-Doh and go around like that. Here's my uppercase p and my lowercase p. And they say p, p, remember? So we can use Play-Doh. We can use pipe cleaners. And sometimes with pipe cleaners, we have to twist a little and bend them. Perfect. You see my uppercase P now? And then we can make a lowercase P down in the dirt, down in the basement. Like that, with the wiki sticks. Now when you get wiki sticks, they come in big packs, so you can use them over and over and over again. And that's what we want. We want something that we can keep reusing. And my ultimate favorite is shaving cream. You can use it on your table. You can use it on a plate. It's just soap. It'll clean the surface that we use. Plus, it's a little messy. And we can really get our fingers ready for writing. There, I got it ready. Here we go. Here's one finger. See my one finger? Down and around. There's my uppercase P. Down into the dirt and around at the top. You see, uppercase P and a lowercase P. 
And those are just some silly ways for you to play with forming peas at home. See, my friends, there's so many ways for you to practice your fine motor skills at home. That's really creative, a lot of fun, and just you can use everyday household items like shaving cream and jet hair gel. Oh, I like spiking Josh's hair up with hair gel. Isn't that cool? Isn't that fun? Well, today we learned a new letter, and we learned its sound. It's very important for you to use this letter all week long, to find this letter all week long, to say this letter all week long, and to practice tracing or writing this letter all week long. That's your homework. I want you to practice uppercase P's and lowercase P's. And you can, you can trace highlighters, remember? If your parent writes them with a highlighter, you can trace it with a highlight, with, with a pencil on top of the highlighter. That's a great choice. If you don't have a pencil, you can use a marker. You can use a black marker or, or a dark blue marker, and you can write on top of that light highlighter. That's pretty easy, too. You can use any of the other ways to practice writing your P's. You can send me pictures of how well you're doing. I'd love to see it. Any progress is progress toward being an amazing writer. I'm so proud of you. Let's just practice it one more time. Can you say the letter keyword sound with me? P, pan, p. Say it. P, pan, p. Good job. Uppercase P and a lowercase p and an uppercase P and a lowercase p. And we know this is the lowercase p because it's deep down in the basement. That's the difference between an uppercase P and a lowercase P is the lowercase P is down in the basement and the uppercase P is on top of the ground in the grass. See, we have a skyline, an airplane line, a grass line, and a worm dirt line. It helps us keep our letters looking nice. So they always look the same every time we write them. If you don't have line paper at home, that's okay too. You can still practice anyways. Just keep in mind that there are lines for some line paper. I love you, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Keep finding anything in your house or on your walk with your family that starts with a P, a P, -p sound. And keep practice writing for me. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Work on your letter P all week long. I'll see you next time. Hey, my friends, thanks for being a part of my lesson today. If you like this lesson, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. That's the like button, okay? It's sure to make me smile. Hey, parents, you wanna get your child ready for school? You don't want them to fall behind in school? Hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And in the description, you can also find my Facebook page. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about these videos, I'm more than happy to answer any of them. So hit the Facebook page and connect with me. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these videos. And I'm always gonna try to make them better and better. Also, you can hit the bell at the bottom so you don't miss any of the new videos. If you wanna help donate to my cause, if you wanna continue to see more free videos on YouTube for tons of families who need this, make sure you click the Patreon page and check out how you can donate and how you can help. Anything makes a difference. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for donating to this cause. It's allowing us to create even higher quality videos, more free videos for families like you who need this resource at home. We are utilizing kindergarten skill maps along with Common Core standards to make these lessons. And you are helping make a difference in children's lives all around the US. Thank you for everything that you've been doing.